Hi guys. I figured today we'd do a um, review on the Smoke Sessions collection from Milk Cosmetics. Um, it's a green and gold palette. Um, very beautiful. Um, in my opinion, if you like the colors, you are not going to be disappointed. I know um, some of the people on here have said that they wish that there was a transition shade and um, just more lighter colors to put in your in your crease to help build up. But I personally had no issue. Um, you can tap in very, very lightly in the two middle shades, Sour Diesel and Space Queen, and get a very nice um, light color, light-handed color, and it's, it's not an issue. Um, but you can also pack it on your brush and create a nice smoky sultry look and then um, just the slightest hand into any of the shimmers and you have the most pigment and you have the most pigmented uh, eyeshadow ever um, how I like to use them just because it, it, I always do it with all my glitter or um, shimmery shades is I uh, pick it up on the brush and then I spray the brush with a uh, setting spray or any type of facial spray and uh, then I pack it on my eye and like the, These I mean these colors if you like the colors they will take your breath away. They are so beautiful um, I, I don't have a bad word to say about any of any of these shades in this palette now they are super soft, so if you have a heavy hand or if you press in too hard, you might mess the shadows up or crumble them a little bit, but because they are so soft, you can take that brush and just pack it right back in and they'll be fine. It just may not look as pretty as it did before, but they're, they're that soft, like they're just... I mean putty just dig in and they're they come right up on your brush barely any effort and it's <sighs> I love them um, I'm only wearing blue dream on my eye today over top of a different shadow so you can't really tell but I will put some pictures in at the end of this video so you can see um, ones that I actually have used or I've actually used every single shade in this palette, but you can see looks that I've done. Um, now the lipsticks are absolutely buttery, dreamy, soft. Um, they are transfer proof as long as they don't get wet. That is my one gripe, is that when they get wet, they will transfer immediately. It doesn't matter if it's an oil or water or what, they will transfer. I love the way these look, I love the way these feel, but um, I have noticed while drinking coffee, I get lines right there from where my cup meets my lips and it does get kind of annoying. And if I had a job um, outside of being a stay at home mom, it might annoy me because then, um, you know, I'd be at work and people would see my lipstick all over my face. but. You know, me being a stay-at-home mom, I can touch that up whenever I want, and it's not really an issue. So that is something to think about. But they smell amazing. They apply amazing. You can layer really easily, and um, they're they're just really nice to me. Like as far as a matte formula goes, they're not the longest wearing, but they're comfortable enough that like I don't notice I'm wearing them. So I mean. You, you compromise in places. Either you're going to get something that's super dry and flaky and gives you those butthole lips that you're just, ugh, you're super uncomfortable with all day, but it looks great. Or you're going to get something that feels nice. It's going to be super comfortable and you're going to love it. And then you're going to look in the mirror and be like, oh, that traveled all the way over here. Like how? I don't, I don't even understand. But I mean, that's just what I've noticed with uh, liquid lips. Like, I'm wearing Anastasia right now, and um, 
I ate some ramen noodles earlier and the whole inside of my mouth is gone. It doesn't look bad, but it's also more comfortable formula, so. Um, and I have Breathless, which is my favorite. Um, it's a very red color. My husband's favorite is uh, Toke. It is the green shade. And then I have Bellastona. Velvet Room. And Velvet Room is, to me, was the most um, deceiving color. Like, when I when I seen them being swatched by everybody else, I assumed this was going to be like a dragon's blood type of color. Like, a, I don't know. I just, it's more of like a pinky maroon if that makes sense like the undertone is very pink but then like it dries down dark and almost brown maroon it just it surprised me because I didn't think it would be pink or um, the the color that it was um so this the second one's Bellastona put it right on top of Velvet Room so you can see that it's very hot pink Miami um, Florida um, 80s Barbie like aerobics that's what I think of um, breathless is my favorite and it's more of a red color um, like I said before it's I don't know if you can see it on camera but breathless is definitely more of a red than um, than a pink even though a lot of people are saying they think it looks pink and I, I just enjoy it and then toque is my husband's favorite color and actually I was kind of nervous about the way it was gonna look but um, I quite enjoy it. it it does look really pretty on and I've worn it quite a few times with a couple different looks and it you'd think it'd look out of place just because it's such an unusual color but it it actually it looks pretty good. Um. And those are the th the four gold shades. We have Gravity OG, Granddaddy, Black Widow and Sour Diesel. Sour Diesel is at the top, if you see there. Um, like, I barely had to dip into them to get any color. There's no anything on my uh, arm or hand, so you can you can see the color. Now, I don't always believe swatches are the best judge of anything. Like, I feel like you have to use the palette on your eyes to actually know but some people insist that you you do swatches so they're just so so gorgeous like I should have done this on the inside of my arm so my hair's not in the way but Like, look at that. That is, that is some pigmented shadow, man. Like, barely, barely pressed into those because, you know, like I said, if you dig too much into them, they will break. But then you have Blue Dream, which I think is gorgeous. It's one of my favorites of the whole palette. Um, if you go in light enough, it's more of a topper like I use today but um, super gorgeous, like, ugh, look at that. And then um, Sweet Tooth, 
I'll get the name of that one. It reminds me of Christmas, really. Mean Green. Mean Green. And then Space Queen. They're just gorgeous. Like, I, I don't understand how anyone could be upset by this palette. I mean, I guess unless you wanted a bright purple, which I thought looking online would be something that they should have added was a purple. But, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm not mad. Like, all of these came out beautiful. Um, they look great. Um, just all around good. Like... Now, another good thing about the um, lipsticks is because they are so soft and um, creamy and, like I said, they come off with any amount of liquid when you're taking them off at the end of the night, they are actually really easy to take off. Like, all you need is a makeup wipe and they'll just come right off. No issues. So that's always nice, you know? I did have um, breathless stain my eye, but that's my eye area, and it's a lipstick, and just because you can put it there doesn't mean you're supposed to, so to me, oh well, you know, I got over it. It looks fine. It's beautiful. Um, I guess it's more about preference, and um, I'm going to insert some pictures of some of the looks I've done. This is another one where I just used Blue Dream as an eyeshadow topper and it looked really pretty. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, not telling you to buy it, but if you were interested in the palette, I would definitely go ahead and pick it up. I mean, it's it's beautiful. You will not be disappointed. As long as you like the colors, you will love the shadows. So, all right, guys. Have a nice night.